It's just about nine o'clock here, and um, well, it's not the beginning of the day. It's certainly not the end of the day either. So this, but this is certainly the first segment of the BTS vlog for today. For uh, um, what day is it today? <laughs> for Tuesday, November fifth, yeah, two thousand thirteen. Uh, this is being entered in the log for uh, for BTS vlogs. As I said, this is this is my log. This is behind the scenes here. We're seeing what goes on, what goes on on a daily basis as we move from uh, the simple concept of a show from uh, vlogging that I got from Nerds Oral. As I move out of there to the TV uh, environment, to the IPTV environment, uh, working on developing shows, developing documentaries. I mean, at first I thought, well, I'm just going to develop documentaries, and that would be it. But then I realized that if you're going to do a TV channel, that it has to have a uh, broader appeal than just simply the science. So the science is important, but I know myself that I don't spend all my time watching documentaries or doing a lot of studying. I do, I do a lot of studying. I do a lot of documenting, watching a lot of documentaries. But I also have the fun on the side as well. You have to have that. You have to have that that lightness there. Uh, if you're going to do long hours of research, but not everybody's going to, everybody's going to be into that. Some people are going to watch some of the, some of the, uh, the documentaries. Some people are going to watch more of the documentaries. Some people are going to watch some of the, uh, the entertaining shows, the, uh, entertainment shows that I'm developing here. Uh, but the whole thing is, is kind of a fun thing because rather than doing things, uh, uh, fake in terms of just sort of just, uh, doing it for a simulated game, you're doing it out in real life. Uh, on YouTube, and it's actually kind of a, 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 of an interesting thing when you think that you're actually uh, sitting down and developing a TV channel. And it actually goes back to, uh, if you want to look at this uh, uh, comparison, it's kind of history repeating itself, and it's particularly when you're talking about uh, the older TV channels known as the uh, UHF. Oh, that was weird. Oh, a new email came in. Uh, Many years ago, before cable was invented, and everything was on antenna, there were the main channels were on the VHF wavelength. That was one wavelength. And that was basically your channels uh, uh, two through thirteen were your, your VHF, and all your main channels were there. And your cable type channels, the lesser known channels, all went on to something known as UHF. It was an ultra high frequency. Uh, and no one really sort of cared about these. These were sort of uh, local. Um, <laughs> they played a lot of B movies. They played, the, the shows really weren't that good. But the bizarre thing is, is that these shows that weren't necessarily so good, the movies that weren't necessarily so good, as they passed from regular use into history, they kind of developed a cult following there where. where these are the things that where if you're kind of an offbeat type of person, and you like watching these old weird movies, and this is, I'm talking about things like uh, Godzilla or old uh, vampire movies where you can see the strings, you can see tell it's fake blood, uh, you know, either the sci-fi movies where, you know, the, you know, um, Plan 9 from Out of Space where they're coming, I think that's the one where they come and kidnap Santa Claus and bring Santa Claus back to Mars. Uh, and you can tell that they're basically both painted green and they're wearing... Um, ski goggles on their forehead as part of their alien costumes. That's how it was uh, when, it, when you have these so, sort of side channels. And this is kind of the same thing again with YouTube. You're given, you're given the opportunity to sort of develop a channel and when you start getting into these, the, the development of the channel and you're there by yourself you do have to sort of cut these corners. You have to be creative. And your initial product is not going to be as polished as one would think, or at least you would think, anyways. Uh, you always have a tendency to, uh, to view your own product as something more special and wondrous and so on and so forth. But in reality, uh, it's not. It's really kind of run-of-the-mill. And this is what sort of what's going on back here. And it does take a bit of time to sort of get everything done, uh, to learn the graphics, to learn how to do titling overlays, how to create the um, uh, the soundtracks, to, to create uh, music for the like 
the opening themes. If you want to do a theme song for your show, well, you have to sit down on the piano and you have to do, uh, uh, learn how to create that song, how to compose. Uh, you also have to take your piano, learn how to hook it up to the computer so that you can do different sounds, different layering. You can put in all the di different instruments. Uh, in other words, you have if you're by yourself or you do or a small channel, the, you have to wear many hats. You have to do a lot of different things. And this is actually what Cyborg TV is all about. Cyborg Alpha TV is always behind the scenes, and that's what it's always going to be. It's always going to be behind the scenes. The development is not going to be the polished product. Uh, it's it's physics TV is going to eventually be the polished product. Cyborg Alpha TV is always going to be behind the scenes. It's always going to be the rough stuff. It's going to be the notes. It's going to be the rough cuts. And I think this is where the charm of this. If you're if you like this type of stuff, you like reality shows. I'm not talking about real reality shows, not stuff that 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 some producer has kind of snipped everything together and created drama. Uh, this is reality here. If you want a real show, reality show, a real reality show, something that's uncut, something that's real, this is it. This is this is real reality. <laughs> and it really depends on what you want. And so that's where we're going to go with this. If you like a real reality show and real sort of behind the scenes TV, this is it. This is what you're going to see it here. This is what you're going to see here. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave this here for now. There's still more, a lot more to go on during the day. I will come back later on a couple hours from now, uh, more than a couple hours from now, uh, and uh, see, and let you sort of bring you up to date on what's been, what's been happening here. Alrighty, back to you later. Yesterday was one of those bizarre days. Uh, in terms of that it's still going on, this is the last segment uh, for this uh, this big this BTRL. Uh, what was it? The BTRL covering the period between uh, November fifth and sixth. Because the days often straddle each other, and you don't know exactly when work what work is going to get be done where. You start one day, you end the next day, in the morning. And then a few hours later, well, not really a few hours later, but almost immediately after I finish this this uh, segment, uh, the next day is going to begin. It basically what happens uh, when I yeah, it was just about two hours ago when the battery died. Yeah, that's what happened. The battery went dead, and uh, so now we have to uh, do the uh, last uh, segment for the BTS vlog. For uh, November fifth and November sixth, I, I end up in the, in the meantime. But while, while this was sort of waiting for the for the camera to recharge, the battery recharge, um, I did. Uh, what was I going to say? I did the uh, episode of uh, Beauty and the Geek. So Beauty and the Geek will be out this week. Uh, it will be episode 45 based on the week. So it's week 45, so it's going to be episode 45. And I think, that, I think, you know, things went okay. Now it's on to the editing bay, and once it's off once it's off the editing bay, we go from there. As I said, what happens is that my, my days more often than not are, very, are continuous. So as one, one BTS vlog ends, another one begins. And it's kind of hard to sort of determine when to film uh, what parts of it. So, a lot of times uh, there's going to be a bit of a lag between when I shoot and what I actually say and uh, or what I've actually done. And so the beginning is not necessarily going to be the beginning, meaning that even if I'm shooting the beginning BTS log, uh, that first segment doesn't necessarily mean I started at that particular point in time. More often than that, I'll... Uh, Start. I'll do some fixing up, do some organizing. Once the organization work is done, then I sit down. I do the filming for the segment. So uh, that's kind of how things go. And uh, kind of gives you an idea for how things are are are, are, are scheduled out when, they, when when filming is done. Uh, one of the things I've done is I've added uh, a new playlist. To BBTRL, I'm gonna be adding it to the uh, the new layout uh, on uh, Cyborg Alpha TV. 
and that's going to be the YouTube stroll. The YouTube stroll was an idea that I had on and off for the BBTRL. The show where I go, who I meet, um, give you some idea of who I am behind the scenes. It's turned out that uh, as uh, BBTRL uh, sort of segmented and split, as I was sort of going through my experience with it, that uh, I'm not going to be able to appeal to everybody and not one show is going to be able to appeal to, er to everybody as well. So what I did is I split off the very heavy stuff, the very heavy research uh, into InstaVlogs. InstaVlog is now the heavy research. That's where I take my notes. That's my research notes. And uh, I'm going to put a more lighter fare, uh, sort of the day-to-day -day work, the day-to-day -day behind the scenes in BTS Vlogs. That includes the uh, YouTube stroll, uh, the different discussions I have with people, uh, the people I talk to uh, on the internet or on, on YouTube. And now I'm actually sort of, I can say the internet because it's now spreading out bet uh, from, from YouTube further out in, into the internet, particularly uh, on uh, uh, Neko Video. That's for dancing. Then there's also one for um, in Japan called Amoeba. That's on my, uh, if you look at the about, if you look at the links there, my link to my page, my blog page in Japan is there. That's going to be part of a, uh, a language studies program I'm working on. Uh, is See, I do, I do a lot of different research projects, and what happens is that if you're looking into hidden libraries and archives, you have to go into different languages because they're not always in English. And that means a language archive has to be set up and built so that I can do this. And so one of the paths I'm taking is into Japan, into China, along with the path into Greece and eventually into ancient languages. So uh, that section has already been set up. Uh, and I will discuss it more as these things develop further and I'll sort of bring them out in other uh, BTS vlogs as to where you can sort of see them because I'm not always going to be just simply on Cyborg Alpha TV. I have several other channels that are institute related that allow me to sort of spread out and organize how I do what I do in terms of the research and the studying and so on and so forth. And this includes, I've even put together a recess channel that I'm going to be doing stuff for recess. And the thing is, recess is basically the stuff I play at. And this is sort of the, the dancing, the, uh, the the cartoons, the kids stuff. Uh, uh, that's where I, I, I prefer to play. But the thing is, if you see, it, it's, it's a large chunk of it has to do with the fact that uh, I want to play creatively. And not just simply play. And that means uh, when you learn to draw... You can, uh, you, or doing coloring and stuff like that. You can learn to draw. You can learn to make create. You learn to make car cartoons. You can do graphic editing. Uh, you could do your own music videos. Uh, there's a number of stuff going on on YouTube and with the with the younger set between the nine and uh, fifteen year olds in their music and the way they do their videos, particularly creating movies with the dolls and creating music videos and stuff like that, where they learn how to do a lot of different effects with the with their video editors. And you can, you can use that to sort of say, okay, set yourself a goal. I'm going to have fun and play with this stuff. But at the same time, I'm going to teach myself video editing. I'm going to teach myself how to put together titles. I'm going to teach myself how to do special effects uh, uh, on in videos. But the thing is, is that you don't want to put them in, professional, in, in, in the professional stuff you're doing. So you want to play with them. You start off playing just the way the kid would. You start off playing, and that's the way you do it. Uh, this is the same thing for drawing. This is the same thing for animation. Uh, this is the same thing for music. I'm, you can le I'm uh, learning music. I'm actually getting back into music again. Uh, when I was younger, I was at the Royal Conservatory of Music in, in Toronto, Canada. Uh, but I left it when I was around 15 and haven't been back to it since. But I do want to start creating uh, the, uh, the uh, music for the opening themes. And that means I have to get back into music again. So I've got a whole setup here for that. But again, rather than take it as, as, as a serious, serious business type of thing, uh, I put it in the research, the recess section so I can play and learn at the same time. Same thing for my writing skills. Same, for a lot of thing, uh, uh, same thing for a lot of other skills where my hobbies are also, uh, are and my playing are... are have a relationship with my work as well. 
anyways, that's where things are going. Is so you'll see the Japanese stuff pop up more. You'll see the, some of the dancing stuff pop, pop up more. And then there will also be some Greek and some Syrian and <laughs> a whole variety of things back here. Anyways, that's it for today's uh, BTS vlog. I will see you in a few hours for the next sec for the beginning of uh, the November sixth BTS vlog. See you later. Bye bye.